Hello and welcome to another batch of updates for MD Infinity. I'm Brett Bergdorf, Director of Marketing for Microdrones. Today we'll be covering the MD Infinity Desktop 2020.5 and 2021.1 updates that have been released. The team presenting today includes Robert Chrisman, our Marketing Manager and Voice of the Customer, Stephanie Van Weertz, our Software Product Owner from our Software Development Team, and Vincent Beauregard, our MD Infinity Customer Success Manager. As you mentioned, Brett, there are two updates that Stephanie and Vincent will review in this video. They'll begin with Desktop 2020.5, which covers viewer updates that allow you to view and inspect your 3D point files directly in MD Infinity Desktop, the payload profiles, which enables you to manage your payload configurations, and the new MD Mapper 3D tool, which provides access and allows you to manage photos from the MD Mapper 3D payload. For the Desktop 2021.1 update, they'll review changes in the coverage preview module updates in the Precision Enhancement module, and the newly updated georeferencing data processing module. Stephanie, why don't we start with the updates for desktop 2020.5? Yep, sure. Thanks, Brett and Robert, for the introduction. So I will start with the, data, with the new data viewer in 2020.5 that we released at the end of last year. So first, I'm, I have MD Infinity Desktop here open. You can see here on the on the top of the left sidebar, you have a new menu called Data Viewer. So you can click on it. So once you enter the module, you have an input file drop zone where you can input all your last files. And you press on Process. So you will have to wait a few seconds until we convert the data and opening in the viewer. Great. So now the data are open in the viewer. So you can see the, the point cloud. So you can actually recognize here our main office in Germany, here in Ziegen. You can also see an update here from our georeferencing, where we currently now always export from the georeferencing our trajectory file in last file. So that's the trajectory files that you can see on top of it. So on the left menu here, you have many different options that you can um, that you can modify your point cloud with. So first you have some measurement option. So some uh, very basic tool of measurement. You have some 3D measurement uh, also, and you have a tool here to draw some profiles. So let's do a profile here above the building. So here we can show the 2D profile which will be shown here. You can always change the width of the profile also. So here I will show a bit bigger. So that's one of the main tools here. You can also change the different display of the point cloud. So just remove the profile here. So you can select the point cloud and change, for example, the display. Here it was by elevation. You can change it by intensity, for example. You can change the range that you will show. The point cloud. Um, if you have some classification, you can select classification, uh, GPS time, or any other display that you, that you will need. So if I go back to elevation, you can also uh, change the color of the gradient that you want to, to see your point cloud and the elevation range also. So those are pretty much the main tool of our new viewer. Uh, we hope you will, you will like it. Um, so we are very happy now to be able to view directly the point cloud in MD Infinity and we are very glad to present you this new feature uh, in this in this release. So now we're going to switch over to Vincent, who is going to give us a review of the payload configurations tool. Thank you, Robert. So our MD Infinity Cloud users knows already pretty well uh, this payload management functionality. So now it's available in the MD Infinity Desktop version. So. Now on the left menu, you can access the payload management functionality. And there, from there, you can access all the payload profile that you have for your systems. So to create a new profile, it's quite straightforward. 
you click on the top right section add profile for example we want to add now a md lidar thousand profile so it's not a registered payload yet i select the correct product and i have to enter the board site angles so the board site angles are available from the calibration report that was made available to you on the delivery of the system so for that payload i have those three value for board site angle that i will enter right now and this payload profile will be registered for all processing um, inside the MD Infinity desktop module. So now that it is completed, I can save. We have also available some advanced option, but we recommend you not to uh, modify any values without uh, contacting your support from Microdrones. So it is also useful to know for the MD Infinity Cloud users that all your profiles that are created on the cloud platform are automatically transferred to the MD Infinity desktop platform. So you can reuse your payload profile. Well, thank you, Vincent. And Stephanie, now I believe you're going to show us the MD Mapper 3D tool. Thank you, Brett. So to follow up on what Vincent just explained to us, under the payload module, we now have a MD Mapper 3D tool module. So this new module is specific for our MD Mapper 3D users. So that's um, that's to help the user to manage the quantity of data that those payload uh, produce. So basically, um, I will not do the demonstration here, but the user will have to connect physically the payload on the computer and connect here the, the camera to the um, to MD Infinity. So that will allow the user to transfer the data directly from the payload to the local drive of the computer and um, sort the images by folder and rename all the images. So that will help a lot the user to process those data and trajectory processing on MD Infinity Cloud, for example, after. Okay, great. Well, let's move on to the desktop 2021.1 updates. Of course. So one of the first new feature on the MD Infinity platform uh, is the ability to quality control the LiDAR coverage. The user have the ability to do that by going into the quality control menu and to select the LiDAR coverage preview. So this tool will allow the user to have a preview of the LiDAR point cloud at a reduced uh, density. So first, the user has to select the correct payload profile is used for the flight. Uh, then you can enter all the files output from the flight. So we have a T04 and we have a few MRS files. And then uh, the user can select uh, the output coordinate reference system. So in that case, we'll want uh, the datum to be WGS84, the flight was uh, done in UTM zone 18 north. And then the user can select the directory where the output preview will be created. So I want it to that folder. Select and then I launch the processing. So now that the processing is done, uh, we have a LAS point cloud that is saved inside my folder. So now that the coverage preview is processed, I can now visualize it to the data viewer. So I open the data viewer. So by selecting the files that were generated, I have all LAS point clouds from the MRS files and from the trajectory. I can open them and then process to visualize them. So now 
I can have a good preview of if the coverage of my flight was well done. And I can also see the trajectory from the drone processing. This should help you to control the quality of the, your LiDAR flights. So one of the other improvements that we've already covered is in the georeferencing processing module. What we've added here is the availability to view your trajectory file in an LAS format. So one more update that we're going to go ahead and cover with Stephanie is the Precision Enhancement Module update. Yeah, thanks, Robert. So our last update is in Precision Enhancement Module. So that's a module that we already have in MD Infinity Desktop since a few versions now. So basically, the first thing that you will have to do is uh, select your payload, um, input your last file, and here in the Output tab, you will see a new option, Remove Outliers, with two different detection modes that you can choose. So basically, this new option will really help you if you have some outliers uh, outside of your, of your point cloud and you want to remove them for, for your point cloud. So that's the best option uh, to use. So that actually replaced our, um, our option that we had before that was uh, Remove isolate, Isolated Point. So this is the new version of this options, but with improvement. And the rest of the workflow for precision enhancement is what we previously had. Well, thank you all for reviewing these new updates, which are now available in MD Infinity Desktop. If you have any further questions, please contact your MicroDrones representative or sign in to MicroDrones Client Services.